Day one, you feel like you're drinking from a fire hose. <laughs> but now there's not a situation that I've, that I've come across yet that I haven't felt prepared for. My name is Kristen Moore, and I am the head athletic trainer for McCowan Middle School and an assistant athletic trainer at DeSoto High School. Right after graduation, I moved to Texas. DeSoto was my first interview, and in the middle of the interview, I was offered the job. We're a 6A school, so uh, our district is kind of jokingly called the District of Doom. We have over 15 sports and full rosters on each of them, a lot of them with more than one JV or freshman team. And because the competition is so high, we want to be able to give them the best standard of care that they need through athletic training and through our sports medicine staff. Oh, the boys get scared. They don't, like, if they know Doc Moore's taking them to the weight room, they're like, oh no, <laughs> we're gonna die. <laughs> I'm the youngest one on my staff. It's intimidating at times because they've all had experience and at really big schools. I mean, D1 universities, for me to come in and operate at the same level of care is a really big deal. And there's days when I'll be doing a, a treatment on someone or um, a certain stretch or exercise with an athlete. And then afterwards, one of my coworkers will come up to me and be like, hey, like, what were you doing? Can you teach me what you just did? It's just fun because they see me as a peer and they see me as a professional. And I think that's because of the preparation that I had at Evangel. Our classes were all held to a really high level. We didn't get away with slacking off. <laughs> That wasn't an option. And at the moment, there's times where I'm like, oh my goodness, this is a lot. Like, why am I doing this? <laughs> but now there's not a situation that I've, that I've come across yet that I haven't felt prepared for. We had awesome opportunities. We got to go to so many clinical sites. We spent time in cardiac rehab. We spent time in the urgent care, in the emergency department, in the back of an ambulance with EMT. Going through some of those situations, it has helped us. So take the emergency department, for example. We were able to see what it's like to operate under pressure and to be able to keep your composure and know an order of events or operations. Each different department gave us something different that helps us um, be better, help Care professionals. As an athletic training student, from the very first day, you hear the words BOC, which stands for Board of Certification. And from day one, it's kind of this big, scary exam. Really, everything that you're doing in each of your classes is preparing you for that exam. I remember taking my exam and thinking, there's nothing on here that I haven't come across before. I remember calling afterwards and being like, that seemed, that seemed easy, like I'm scared. <laughs> because we, I knew the answers on it. They prepared us so well, they really did. To be able to know that your professor doesn't only care about your education, but cares about you as a person is huge. So many times we would email Miss Sarah, like, when can we come sit in your office? <laughs> we need help. You'll see people saying jobs as like, oh, this is a stepping stone job. This is a, just to get to the next one. My story goes to show that um, you don't have to wait. You don't have to have stepping stone jobs. If you're prepared and if you've um, done what you need to do and you've worked hard on the back end, there are jobs out there. There are opportunities out there. I just, I tr you trust your training. And that's, you know, a saying that you'll hear a lot from athletic trainers, just trust your training, trust your training. And for some people that might be really scary, but thankfully for me, it's not because of the training that I went through.